Hi, in this video we're looking at new workflows with K-Cycles and Ultra Lighting for lighting, tone mapping and post effects on a sci-fi scene. Here is a sci-fi scene from Chip Walters. You can create sci-fi and other types of scenes quite easily using this recommended sci-fi flex add-on. There's a link to this add-on in the description if you're interested. Let's do a render of this scene. Keep this scene in slot 1 for comparison for later. And this scene will be using ultra lighting for interactive light adjustments and mixing without re-rendering. For complete detail of all of the ultra lighting features, please look at my previous ultra lighting videos on my channel. So let's enable ultra lighting, add lights into collections into individual light groups, selecting the add all collection button. And if you noticed, when once we selected ultra lighting, there was med labs were not added into the light groups. Fix this by adding a remainder light group. For a more permanent solution, we can figure out why those med labs were not added. So let's undo a remainder. Let's select those med labs and let's take a look at the material. To be part of a light group, you need to have some type of emission shader or standard light. This situation parallax material it does not have emission so just pick an emission shader and let's add it i can add to collection again the medlab light group now shows up it found it had an emission on that material first thing to do when working on lighting on your scene go into solo mode and look at the different light groups that we have this is the antenna group area the bot the dot lighting, the med labs, the sun, and the world. My plan in this scene is to create a sunset type on the scene. So with the lighting, I want to bring attention to the important areas and I use lighting to improve. So we have antennas, the lighting is quite low. So let me increase the power of the antennas. You can always solve on solo to mode, definitely more noticeable. The other light that I have is the area light. This lighting, the about since that's the main focus of this scene i definitely want to bring more brightness increase power yellowish sunset type of tone so i can already start working on it from the beginning and always good to go back and forth between solo mode and full mode next step we'll go to the lighting for the bot so increase the lighting since that's our main focus for this scene your eyes is going to be drawn more and more to the center of, of attention on this scene. Next step is the dot lights. At this point, they are acceptable. Next step is the med labs. When adjust the lighting. And now we have the sun light group. Color scheme does not match sunset. Go back to tone mapping and adjust the tones. And the last one is the world. Light group looks acceptable compared to the rest of the scene. So once you finish the first pass with the light group's lighting, you can go into post effects. Uh, bloom and flares. If you notice the antennas now got way too much bloom, so I can go back to the antenna and reduce some of the intensity so it doesn't overpower the rest of the scene. Right now I can kind of adjust the bloom settings. Do the wide, soft, and it. Take a quick look at the viewport matching to see how we look at final resolution. And it looks quite well at this resolution. So we can go back to normal mode by un unchecking it. So next step is adjust tone mapping settings. Increase the contrast. And then we can duration. The white balance. And we can add some lens effects. Distort in the negative direction to give it more of a far away look. Slightly negative slight chromatic actual aberration get a little bit more of a cinematic look and let's add vignetting the next step is to add mist look at my settings by enabling mist and then in the camera make sure to enable viewport display of mist and you can go to wireframe mode go to viewport top view you can see where the beginning of the mist scene is by going to the world settings 
to starting at 37 meters which is that area and ending at 224 covers the end of sci-fi scene or your top view to make sure that it encompass the mist across the whole scene let's go back to camera mode and adjust some of the mist settings just the start the ending some exposure and the intensity of the mist and finally let's adjust the color back to the sunset yellow tone so after you've done your post effects it's always go back good to review your settings you did on the light groups looking at the scene i still think that the med labs are just too bright for the rest of this scene I'm going to turn it down that looks better still like to give a little bit more light into the pot by adjusting the area light group you maybe add a little bit more mist or fog to it when you're done completely with light groups one of the options that you can do is put the light group tone mapping back into the lights by using the added new feature called apply tone mapping to lights select that option and it resets all the tone mapping for all the light groups and after our final tweak we'll do our final render it's done let's compare that to the original so it definitely is a quite a big of a difference and as you can see it perfectly matches the viewport with properly used tools you can really speed up your workflow to create amazing lighting without having to re-render thanks for listening